Why was this jacket 800 bucks from Nike? Why is this bracelet so affordable and looks so good? Why are these Converse's so popular? What's up everyone? Welcome back to another pickups video, fall edition. It's that time of the year. Let's begin with this insanely priced jacket from Nike. Currently, it's not sitting at that price on the secondhand market, thank goodness. But retail, 800 bucks. I'm not joking about that. So this one comes from the Every Stitch Considered line of Nike. And I'm sure a lot of y'all probably haven't even heard of that. I feel like Nike knows their market. Anything above Nike ACG prices should be a different clothing brand as a whole. Just my opinion, of course, it's kind of like Lexus and Toyota, Acura and Honda. Those lines are made by the same company, but they have a different target market. This is definitely a different market. But yeah, this is their parka jacket. Was Every Stitch Considered? Absolutely. This is top-notch quality from Nike. You've got the Riri zippers, which in general are more more premium than YKK, which are already pretty solid. It's water repellents, the water beads very nicely. You've got the built-in sling to sling around your body if the temperature gets too hot, metal buttons, an adjustable hood. Overall, this piece definitely is gonna make you look like a G or a cyber bully. And since this is near acronym prices, is this as good as acronym? In my opinion, close but not quite. Quality of the garment, beautiful. But I just feel like this design isn't crazy unique. I feel like the competition does have similar jackets for way cheaper. And if it was on the level of acronym, it would hold its value on the secondhand market. Fortunately, I did not have to pay for this as this was gifted to me for a campaign that I'm doing. Shout out to y'all for making that happen. Me personally, I do think you could get something better for the price, but this is a beautiful piece. This next piece comes from a brand called Boda Skins based in the UK. Now, me personally, I haven't been the biggest fan of leather jackets because all I think about when it comes to leather jackets are the ones that were popping in 2017. Those types of leather jackets do look great. I've just seen it way too much. And to me, they're not as timeless as something like this. This one is perfect. Think of a minimal jacket. This is just the leather version of it. And yeah, this is the Hendrix model. And I just love the little touches that make it feel much more premium from the supple buttery leather on the outside to the inner lining details to the Boda Skins gold template with my personal name on it. And this one is a size large and normally I'm a size medium. And I'm not even that big of a guy right now. I weigh 160. 62 pounds, I'm five foot seven, and the large still fits pretty well on me. This jacket is definitely on the slimmer side. So based on my experience, I would recommend sizing up, but you gotta make sure you know your body. I know I have more broad shoulders and a little bit bigger arms for my size. Most people, when it comes to leather jackets, they think you can only style in a biker, greaser type look, and that cannot be further from the truth. For this jacket, I'm treating it like a standard minimal jacket. It's just made out of leather. So if you're in the market for a leather jacket, definitely check out Boda Skins. And my next pickup is this beautiful electric shaver from the sponsor of today's video use. So I've been doing a lot of traveling lately. I just came back from Vegas and Chicago and this electric shaver is compact and travel friendly. The design is clean and hefty and it's just great to use. So this uses a premium German stainless steel blade that doesn't irritate the skin and does the job well. Whenever you're traveling, the shaver charges in just an hour and you can turn on travel mode by holding the power button for three seconds and the blades will lock so it doesn't accidentally activate in your bag. That's always an awkward situation. And what I love about this electric shaver is it's not afraid of getting wet. It's super Super easy to clean as you can see right there and just magnetically snaps right back in place. It even comes with a leather carrying case. And just check out the box that it comes in. I can always appreciate nice packaging. This is the only shaver I travel with now. I highly recommend it. Pick one up by clicking that link in the description. It's gonna make all your travels that much easier. And thank you, Youths, for sponsoring this video. Now, next up, we have jewelry from the brand Lupin. Y'all already know I did my own collection with them last year. And these come from the newest collection called the Coming Home Collection. Like, just take a look at how beautiful these pieces are. The owner of Lupin and my personal friend Grace. She goes back to her Korean roots and you can definitely see it in these designs. Take a look at the trigram ring which represents the four trigrams of the Korean flag. It's really cool to see how such a simple ring can be turned into something completely different and tasteful with just a few lines. I also got the together ring which when stacked like I'm doing it right now, whew, makes it look so good. And then we have the watch bracelet which is just like a watch but without the face. The texture it adds is very nice and everything is made with a quality 925 sterling silver. There's a reason why I chose to do a collection with Lupin. Couldn't recommend the brand anymore. Check out their newest collection called the Coming Home Collection. Discount code linked in the description. Next up are the Ramones by Rick Owens. This was also sent to me for a campaign and I looked up the price of these. Holy shit. That is wild even for retail. Obviously this brand is for a niche audience. So if you want something a lot more affordable, the Converse collaboration with Rick Owens, the Dark Shadows, those are much more affordable and they have a similar look as well. Does it look any different than regular Converse's? I'd say it's noticeable. It's a bit chunkier with a more simplistic design and you cannot deny the quality improvement with this one over standard Converse's. And you also cannot deny the impact Rick Owens has made in the industry. There's a market for those that wanna spend a lot more money for better quality and brand association. So let me ask you, do you think these are worth 950 bucks or five 50 retail 
Let me know in the comments. Next up, we got some Nike ACG cargos. I forgot which year exactly these came out. And excuse the fur, fellas. Ahsoka, man, she's always on my clothes. And I try my best, all right? But this model and the deploy cargos that I already own have been my favorite models from Nike ACG. So let's talk about the design. I love how this flap wraps around your thigh. It just makes for a clean look from every angle. And these aren't even water repellents, which is totally fine. Most of the time, that means it's much more breathable. You got the roomy fit up top with the tapering, which makes these very easy to style with boots, runners, or chunky sneakers. And this pairs perfectly with the parka that I talked about earlier. Now, this was a size medium. I would recommend going for a size small or extra small if you have a size 30 waist like me. This is a bit roomy, but you do have the extended belt, which you can adjust. And another thing I really like about these cargos is the amount of zipper pockets. It really adds to the look as well. It does cost a lot of money for these secondhand market, so just keep that in mind. Let's keep it moving. Next up, I just did a campaign with Doc Martens. Shout out to y'all. And they sent me these ones right here. These are their huge platform boots, which is insane how much height these give you. And this one has extra long laces so you can wrap it around the boot for that more military combat look. I'm gonna be honest, these are a little bit hard to get into, a little bit annoying because you have to loosen the laces, unzip the thing, and then you can slip your foot in. But these definitely make a statement. I still get some foot blisters with these, so I still have to wear a little bit more so it can loosen up the leather. But these boots are sick. Next up are the Lost and Found Chicago Ones. Shout out to Chi Town. What is there to say about these sneakers? These are a classic. I enjoy these ones much more than the bread ones. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of videos about this already. I don't wear Jordans too often, but these these ones are definitely gonna change my mind. Okay, next up we have this cheap rope chain bracelet from Amazon. I think it was like 20 bucks and this is solid if you're just beginning to start your jewelry collection. I love Lupin for their 925 sterling silver, but I always have a yearning for gold jewelry because in my opinion, gold simple jewelry doesn't look as good as silver does. I wanna start off cheap and something with a little bit more unique design like this rope chain bracelet. Do you guys feel the same way about gold? I feel like simple gold jewelry just doesn't look as good. I don't know, it's just me. But yeah, this is very affordable if you're just getting started on your wardrobe and you're just used to gold jewelry. Just make sure that you know the size of your wrist. I'll leave a link to the description. So my last pickup is this jacket from Lululemon. This is their tech jacket from Lululemon Lab. So first off, I'm obsessed with jackets with just a simple collar. It's been my vibe lately. It's much more timeless. And this one uses technical fabrics. So first off, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but based on the lighting, there's gonna be a different purple pinkish sheen. It just really adds to the look and stands out. It looks like there's a neon light constantly shining on this, but the overall jacket is blue. Next up, there's a lot of ventilation on it, so it's very breathable, perfect for fall and spring, and it's water repellent. So you get the breathability with the water repellency and a simple classic look. What more can you ask for? This definitely gets a recommendation for me if your style is more simple, but also if you're into tech wear or if you're into fitness or you just appreciate technical fabrics, this one is perfect for you. All right, fellas, those are my fall pickups. Not a bad way to start the fall season. As always, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and until then, stay fly. Check out the sponsor use, deuces. Yo, so I know a lot of y'all have been asking for a restock on our longevity caps with the Choice Made. Stay tuned, fellas. Make sure you guys give a Choice Made a follow. I wanna thank you guys for your support for my brand. Stay tuned.